In 2012, a single software bug at Knight Capital, a major Wall Street trading firm, went live. In just 45 minutes, their automated systems executed millions of erroneous trades, losing the company $440 million and pushing it to the brink of collapse. Knight Capital. Knight Capital. Knight Capital Group. $440 million. A computer glitch cost the company more than $400 million. The computer chaos that cost it $440 million and caused mayhem in early stocks trading on Wednesday. But are you actually seeing trading off of this number? Surely if you're a broker and a trader, you make sure that your systems work and you've got backup to those systems and backup to those backup backup systems. Um, apparently not at Knight Capital. Nine years later, in 2021, a single customer changing their settings triggered a dormant flaw in Fastly's content delivery network. Suddenly, huge portions of the internet went dark. Amazon, Reddit, the New York Times, even the UK government's website, all vanished. Websites to crash during the night. Sites like Twitter, Pinterest, uh, Spotify, even the United Kingdom's government website were down early this morning. A global internet outage has left many people struggling to access major websites. Amazon. The Gov UK, the UK site, uh, Twitch, Pinterest, HBO Max, Hulu, Reddit, and Spotify. These weren't attacks, they were accidents. Tiny errors that cascaded through centralized systems, causing catastrophic failure. Now, imagine a future where it's not just websites or a trading firm, but a vast interconnected network of artificial intelligences that all share a single universal language. A future built on what's called a unified AI. The promise is a world of seamless technological harmony, but the dark secret is that we might be building the most complex single point of failure in human history. The very thing designed to connect everything could be the thing that breaks it all. And to understand how this monumental risk is quietly taking shape, we need to look at a groundbreaking new standard called the Model Context Protocol. Right now, the world of AI is incredibly fragmented. We have specialized AIs that are brilliant at one thing. What's that? Some are language wizards. Others can see and interpret images. And some control robots with incredible precision. But they don't really talk to each other. Getting them to work together requires building custom, one-off connections for every single interaction. It's like needing a different shaped plug and outlet for every appliance in your house. This is where the dream of a unified AI comes in. The vision is to create a seamless ecosystem where all these different AIs can communicate and collaborate effortlessly. Imagine an AI designing a new life-saving drug. In a unified world, it could instantly pull data from global chemical databases, instruct a robotic lab to synthesize and test a compound, analyze the results in real time, and then adjust its formula, all in a continuous autonomous loop. This isn't just about convenience, it's about accelerating human progress in every field imaginable. But for this to work, all these AIs need a common language, a universal standard for communication. This is exactly what the Model Context Protocol, or MCP, is designed to be. Introduced by AI safety and research company Anthropic, and now being adopted by giants like Google and OpenAI, MCP acts like a universal translator and connector for AI. Think of it like the USB-C port for artificial intelligence, a single standardized way for any AI to plug into any tool, database, or external service. It solves the massive headache of custom integrations and promises to unlock the true potential of a collaborative AI network. But in solving one problem, it creates another, far more terrifying one. It funnels all communication through a single standardized channel. And as history has shown us, whenever you have a single critical component that everything depends on, you have a single point of failure. This brings us to the first major vulnerability, the ghost in the machine. No software is perfect. No one is perfect. 
Every complex system has hidden bugs lying dormant, waiting for the right circumstances to emerge. In the case of the Fastly outage, a bug introduced in a software update a month prior was triggered by a single customer making a perfectly valid configuration change. This one trigger caused 85% of their global network to fail. Now, apply that logic to the model context protocol. MCP is designed to be the central nervous system of a unified AI network, handling every request, every piece of data, every instruction. A single, undiscovered flaw in its core logic could become a weapon of mass disruption. A malicious actor wouldn't need to hack into hundreds of different AI systems. They would only need to find one exploit in the protocol itself. By crafting a specific, malicious input, they could trigger this flaw and cause a system-wide shutdown, effectively lobotomizing the entire intelligent network in an instant. Or worse, they could cause cascading failures. In a tightly interconnected system, the failure of one AI agent can send junk data to others, causing them to malfunction in unpredictable ways, creating a domino effect that brings the whole structure crashing down. It's the digital equivalent of a single faulty bolt bringing down a massive bridge. This vulnerability isn't just about shutting the system down, however. An even more sinister threat lies not in breaking the machine, but in subtly poisoning the information it consumes. AI models are nothing without data. Their entire understanding of the world is built on the information they are fed. The model context protocol is the pipeline that delivers this data from the outside world, from databases, file systems, and real-time sensors. It is designed to be a trusted conduit. But what if that trust is broken? If an attacker finds a vulnerability in MCP, they could do something far more damaging than just shutting the system down. They could start to poison the data stream. Imagine subtly altering financial data being fed to AI-powered trading algorithms, causing them to trigger a market crash. Or feeding poisoned diagnostic data to medical AIs, leading to thousands of incorrect diagnoses across the globe. Because the protocol is the trusted gateway, the data it delivers is assumed to be valid. An attack at this level would be almost impossible to detect until it's too late. The AIs wouldn't know they were being manipulated. They would simply make what they believe are rational decisions based on corrupted information. This would turn our most powerful tools for progress into engines of chaos, eroding trust in the very systems we've come to rely on. But even if the protocol remains technically secure, the very act of standardization introduces a more philosophical yet equally dangerous vulnerability. In agriculture, a monoculture is when a farmer plants only one type of crop. While efficient, it's incredibly risky. A single disease or pest that targets that specific crop can wipe out the entire harvest. In the world of AI, a universal standard like the Model Context Protocol risks creating what is known as algorithmic monoculture. When all AIs start to use the same protocol to interact with the world, they may start to develop the same blind spots, the same biases, and the same vulnerabilities. The diversity of thought that comes from different systems with different architectures begins to disappear we end up with a forest of AI minds that all think in fundamentally similar ways. This means that a single, clever, adversarial attack or jailbreak prompt that tricks one AI could potentially trick them all. If someone discovers a way to bypass the safety filters of an AI using MCP, that same technique could be deployed across every AI in the unified network the system becomes fragile. It's quite fragile. A brittle crystal palace that looks strong, but can be shattered by a single, well-aimed stone. This homogeneity isn't just a technical risk, it's a societal one, and it concentrates an immense amount of power into the hands of whoever controls the standard.
Perhaps the most chilling risk of a unified AI built on a single protocol is the potential for centralized control. When one protocol governs all communication, whoever controls that protocol holds the keys to the entire kingdom. This creates a tempting target for authoritarian governments or powerful malicious actors. Gaining control over the protocol would mean gaining the ability to monitor, manipulate, or shut down the world's AI infrastructure at will. This concentration of power could lead to a dystopian future straight out of science fiction. An entity in control of the protocol could engage in unprecedented surveillance, monitoring every interaction between humans and AI. They could subtly manipulate the information and context fed to AIs to shape public opinion, rig elections, or incite social unrest. In essence, they could control the perceived reality of millions of people. Furthermore, nations could view control over a unified AI's core protocol as the ultimate geopolitical weapon. It would be the digital high ground, a position from which to launch devastating cyber attacks or cripple an adversary's AI-dependent society without firing a single shot. The dream of a connected world could very quickly become a blueprint for global control. So, are we doomed to this fragile, high-stakes future? Not necessarily. The same ingenuity that created this problem can also create the solution. The vision of a unified AI is undeniably powerful. The potential to solve humanity's greatest challenges is real. But building this future on a centralized foundation, on a single point of failure, is a gamble we cannot afford to lose. I mean, we have to win this. The risks of a system-wide collapse, data poisoning, algorithmic monoculture, and dystopian control are too great to ignore. The path forward lies in embracing the very opposite of centralization, decentralization. We must build resilience and diversity into the DNA of our AI ecosystems. This means developing multiple, interoperable protocols instead of just one, so that a failure in one standard doesn't bring down the entire network. Technologies like federated learning, which trains AI models without centralizing data, and blockchain, which can create secure and auditable records of AI interactions, offer promising alternatives. Ultimately, our greatest defense is a culture of relentless security and vigilance. This includes continuous adversarial testing, where we actively try to break our own systems to find flaws before others do and robust governance that ensures transparency and accountability. The future of intelligence shouldn't be a single monolithic mind, but a diverse and resilient society of minds, one that is robust enough to withstand the inevitable storms to come. We are standing at a crossroads. The choices we make today about the architecture of our AI future will determine whether we build a connected utopia or engineer the most spectacular catastrophe in human history. If you found this look into the Model Context Protocol, or MCP, be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more deep dives into the technologies shaping our world. Thanks for watching.